hi there this video is in continuation with the earlier uh, YouTube video that I have posted with uh, about the about text mining Twitter feeds for FIFA so uh, in this video I'm going to share with you how can we further categorize um, the feeds collected or fetched from the Twitter uh, based on the devices that were used or the source type that were used to uh, send those tweets so basically in the end what I'm hoping is to get a, a categorization of those tweets based on or based on um, the device type that is iPhone whether Android mobile web or web or it's just some random or uh, uh, a default bucket so without wasting any further time I would like to get started so uh, to begin with I'm I'm hoping that we uh, you already have the bearer token that will be used to fetch the tweets or authenticate uh, the request for the uh, with the Twitter so here is the get page operator let me just minimize so yeah so here is the get page operator that I'm hoping that you are already familiar if not then basically these are the parameters I will be passing on um, the search term FIFA count 100 less but 100 is default so if we don't put anything we will get 100 tweets next is res result type I'm taking it as recent but it could be mixed recent means uh, the tweets return would be the latest based on time versus mixed where it will be a mix of uh, time based plus the relevance uh, for the term so with that said that's the get page operator that we'll be using to access the search API for Twitter next step as I mentioned also in the earlier video is to convert or transform the data that we collected into XML format and now once we have uh, an XML format next step is to get the um, get, get, get the array of results in JSON into XML so that we can iterate over using our um, next operator so the um, here at this step I have uh, an XML with uh, with the array of tweets next step is to break down that document into further into smaller subset or smaller documents with each document representing one tweet so that's what the cut document is doing and let me dig into this so um, this cut document what it's doing is I have specified an XPath query as results and statuses that's my um, the XPath query and then once I'm inside what I want to do is again because read XML can only take a file argument so just write that document into memory read XML and uh, as the parameter or sorry as the configuration attributes um, I am doing XPath as statuses and then the four attributes I have text I want to fetch text um, ID the tweet ID and the source so because we are doing a device based categorization that's given by this attribute so this one and then further uh, um, to give it a better readability I'm just converting this name column name into this for better reading and uh, next I'm going to do is if there are any missing because source type may be absent sometimes so to do the error handling I'm doing to asking to replace any missing attribute um, with the value 0 and the next step would be to uh, kind of convert that into uh, polynomial or nomi no nominal form so because this op this operator requires the data to be into nominal form some sort of it cannot take numerical values so the data to documents with this one what I'm trying to do is to fetch the uh, the 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 tweet here and so at this step I have the document and then with each document I got the the text the source ID uh, sorry the tweet ID and the source type so that's this cut document next step is to loop over those um, document documents or the document array and then do further processing which would be 
first is to and this step is basically to match the input we are receiving with the at, uh, with the operator input so this step I'm doing is just to make sure that uh, the data I feed in is of the right type so this generate attributes what I'm doing in here is I n now I am trying to generate another attribute called device type and this device type is ex uh, calculate it's a calculated column or the attribute and what it contains is I am checking if the source contains an iPhone then it's iPhone otherwise we can put it in anonymous bucket for the further processing so same thing for this so for each type of device I'm taking iPhone Android web mobile web and uh, the default bucket if it doesn't fall in any of these so that's what the loop collection is doing and uh, next step is to append because now we have uh, a document array at each level so for example here we had an array of tweets here we divided each or we extracted from each document the type of device it was tweeted from so now we will be having something uh, like um, iPhone and the count of the uh, tweets that it is in so and now we need to aggregate or the append those so first we will be collecting because here the result obtained from loop collection is a collection object it's an array uh, but it's a it's an array of documents now we need to assemble those to make or convert them into a single document so that's what the this append is doing next step is to aggregate those and aggregation is basically now we will count the uh, 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 because at the end what we need is just if we are categorizing among let's say five or six devices then we just need six device or in the uh, in the result we just need six rows with each row or device type and the number of documents that do, uh, uh, or basically the number of times that uh, that device uh, was in the tweets so basically we don't need a multiple or uh, multiple occurrences each defining okay in this document it was this many times so um, that's what the aggregation is doing and I may be over expressing but I'm just trying to be as helpful as I could so aggregation attributes and with this one again I'm just counting the tweets here aggregation function we could choose others but that's what I'm using here so count and with this one in the end we will get the result so so let me show you the result that I got by running this and that's the um, Blackberry mobile web web Android iPhone and some of those are from anonymous sources which I don't know or which I could not categorize but uh, that's that's kind of summarizing the tweets categorized by devices. I hope it was useful and stay tuned for further uh, videos I'll be posting further down the road. Thank you.